Hey, senoritas, YouTube and Facebook fans. Um, so today I'm doing a bit of curtain cleaning in Gloucestershire, so I just wanted to do this video, just hopefully give you some tips and advice on how to clean curtains and make your business succeed that little bit more. Um, don't forget to give a good like, leave a comment at the bottom, and I'll be sure to answer any questions. And don't forget to hit that bell for any notifications of any new videos that I sort of upload. So the amount of curtains I've got to clean in this property is we've got a single pair there, then we've got a large single pair here. We've also got a large single pair there. The reason I've got to clean these curtains is because this is brand new fabric that's been installed throughout this property, but somebody who installed this fire alarm decided not to do anything to prevent the dust, so brick dust went absolutely everywhere. And if any of you have seen some of my videos before, you might recognize this property. So yes, I came out to clean all the fabrics and then they drilled the hole and made dust everywhere. So this needs doing as well, this fabric on the blind. Then we've got the two sets of curtains in that room. We've got blinds in here. Yeah, I know, it did go throughout the whole house. Owner's not happy at all, really. And what I'm gonna do is just go upstairs got these two pairs of blinds here but what I noticed was on the back of the fabric can you see all that pink builders dust from where they were drilling in the wall stupid I know it doesn't make no sense to me it's just costing them more money so I did clean this sweep before in a previous video so I need to give that a good power vacuum because that's covered in brick dust now I've got a blind up here Big set of curtains in there. Another big set of curtains in there. And another big set of curtains in there. So what I'm gonna do is get the kit set up and show you how I clean some curtains. See you in a minute. Tools you're gonna need for the job. So the first thing you're gonna need is backpack vacuum. Um, I like this one, it's a HEPA filtration vacuum. Goes on your back, makes it nice and easy when you're trying to clean the curtains. Attachment wise, I like these pneumatic attachments because these are quite abrasive and they give some good agitation on the fabric uh, from when you're pre-vacuuming so works quite well. Obviously you're going to need loads of extension poles so I have loads of these. I can probably go about 30 foot uh, from the vacuum up in the air. Second thing you're going to need, dust sheet to put on the floor because property protection is key. You're going to need a fine misting spray bottle. You're also going to need our secret formula solvent um, to put in your fine mist and spray bottle to spray on the fabric once you've vacuumed it and then you're going to need to towel that off with clean terry towels to pick up the soiling. I like to wear a full respirator like this, a full face one because you're using solvents you know you want to be thinking of your lungs and health and safety and keeping your health intact. Also you're going to need a pair of ladders so Another reason I like to use a dust sheet is because the ladders could scratch things like floors and stuff, but um, I think it looks good for the customer. And you know, if you did drop some solvent on the floor, it's going to absorb into your dust sheet rather than trash any sort of carpets or wooden floors like that. Right then, so before you start cleaning, what you need to do is have a good inspection of your fabric and just make sure you're comfortable with what sort of fabric type it is. When you're using dry cleaning methods, there's not a lot that can go wrong really uh, when it comes to sort of damage, but you do need to make sure that there's no interlining, and if it has, just double check that there's no latex on there, because solvents can sometimes damage latexes. But to tell you the truth, you can only damage that latex if you're oversaturating the fabric. This is a dry cleaning method. You're trying to get surface soil off. You remove most of that with vacuuming, so you don't really need to saturate the fabric when you come to apply the fabric dry cleaner and then toweling that off. So what are the advantages of using a solvent as a cleaning agent rather than wet cleaning? So when you wet clean the curtain, what can happen is you'll get shrinkage, and then if you've got a windowsill that sits at a certain level and the curtain just hangs below it, when that curtain shrinks, it's gonna let the light through at the bottom, isn't it? Second thing to consider uh, when using a solvent as a cleaning agent is solvents evaporate quite quick. Uh, our secret formula is designed to enhance the color of the fabric because it replaces it with the natural lost sugars that you get in cotton. 
it evaporates quite quick. So as soon as you've cleaned the curtain, it is dry. That's how you're preventing shrinkage. And also one of the be benefits, rather than taking it to the dry cleaners, and I reiterate this to customers time and time again, is you've got no cost to take the curtains down, clean them and rehang them. So we're cleaning them in situ, which means it's a cost effective alternative for the customer compared to a dry cleaning company. And the third thing to think of is that when you're using a solvent is the products that I've decided to use for my business, our secret formula, is even though it's a solvent, it doesn't overwhelm the property. So I always reiterate to my customers that when I'm using a solvent, it's not gonna smell nasty. It's not gonna linger around in the property once I leave. And that, that the fragrance with the product is actually quite a nice fragrance. And we always get top comments on that. Let's get on with some cleaning. So right, this is one of the terry towels from after toweling off uh, the curtains with the fabric dry cleaning solution. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of like pink tinging on there. I hope you can pick that out on the uh, camera. So that's good evidence that we're removing uh, the brick dust from the curtains. Right then, that's me all finished up on the job. Um, it's been a little bit of a graft as cleaning curtains is a time consuming job, but I'm pleased with the result no matter how long it takes. So everybody, if you could give the video a good like, got any questions, leave a comment at the bottom and don't forget to subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you again for the next episode of Inside Wire TV.